Well, let me show you a routine that I've really enjoyed performing for the past several years. I haven't explained it uh, anywhere. Uh, but it, it, it's, a, it's a routine that's, that's in some ways more fun to do than to see, although I think the, the, the spectators enjoy it too. <laughs> let's, uh, let's take a look, because I've actually taped this already with a few people. Um, here, we, here we are. I'm here with uh, four nice people. That's Diana and Jean and Tom and Brandon. And uh, I'm hoping, since I did not prepare anything, that one of you has a pack of playing cards, because I know... Oh, yes, I do. Good. Thank goodness. Now, honest to goodness, I have not uh, touched this deck before. And the proof of that is that this says it's a pinochle deck. Is it but it's not. It is a oh, pinochle okay. box and a regular deck. All right, because you just scared me. Yes. Because <laughs> uh, these look to be normal cards, Tom. What kind of a magician are you? As close uh, to but, normal as I can. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, ordinarily in a card trick, uh, the issue of, of the suits and, and, and stuff gets important because usually what happens is someone picks a card and then they lose it. And then they find it again, which sort of seems to me too many steps. But in, in this particular case, uh, we're only interested for the time being in the cards as physical implements. Okay? And, and in fact, we will only use a few, just so that there's no confusion whatsoever. So one, two, three, four cards. That's all we need. Tom, put the rest away. This will be plenty for me. Uh, I want to make this very clear, because I know that some of you have studied that sleight of hand stuff. So when I go like this and say, look, only four cards, <laughs> <laughs> you, st you start thinking of Spain. <laughs> See, mentalism and card magic do mix. <laughs> but no, really, touch the, touch the edges of the cards and make sure that there are exactly four. It's important exactly that we know four, yeah. that. Uh, they're your cards, so you ought to know as much. Yeah, OK. Uh, just four cards, and, and as I say, we're interested at the moment, we're not interested in the faces or the values, we're interested in the counting implements. Gene, I see you have pockets, but they have flaps. Now, that yes. means they could be pretend faux pockets, you know, just no, the flaps to look good, <laughs> or, or they could be, uh, are, are they button pockets or snap pockets? Or, oh, Velcro! Velcro. Very modern. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is space age. All right, good. Uh, Gene, what, uh, let, me, let me do this, if, if I may. I'm going to place the four cards into your pocket. Okay. All right. And then we'll Velcro it shut. How's that? That's good. All right. So, so, Gene, you have how many cards in your pocket? Four. Okay. Uh, without caring about the identities of the cards, I will ask you simply, uh, to name any number up to four. And make sure it's a free choice and I didn't steer you in some way. Go ahead. What number? Two. Two. Now, are you sure about that? Positive. Uh, and the reason I ask is I, I happen to know that you're staying in, a, in a, one of the motels near the, the, the l l studios. And I know that motel. The walls are thin. And I have concerns for the other people staying at the motel. <laughs> because... Later tonight, you are going to be sitting up in bed. And while the people in the other rooms are trying to sleep on either side, yeah. you're going to be saying, God damn it! <laughs> if I'd only chosen four! <laughs> the psychological force was three! I would have nailed him on that because he was trying to avoid the psychological choice. <laughs> if I'd gone for one, he would have been toast. <laughs> Do you want to stay with two? After consideration, yes. All right. I tried to help. <laughs> now, what did I say at the outset? I said that for the time being, we didn't care about the faces of the cards, the values. That didn't matter at first. Right. It does now. Because in my pocket, I have something of yours. Actually, it's something of Tom, something that you've only <laughs> borrowed. Would you reach in and in the most decorous way possible take out what's in my, in my pocket there? <laughs> it is the two of hearts. Uh, You're holding the uh, ace, the three, and the four. Take them out and show them. Well, indeed. Oh ace, three, Ooh. and the four. Wow. Boy, am I glad I'm not staying That's at your motel. <laughs> <laughs> Having introduced the idea of, of uh, multiple outs, let's talk for a moment about uh, another routine that's actually uh, not the same as what we just saw, but, but uses coins again, but in a slightly different direction. And 
Uh, this is based on a, a wonderful idea from a, a dear departed friend of both of ours, Marcello Truzzi. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll talk about it, but let's take a look at it first. Kenna, we're going to try something involving money. Do you like money? Oh, yeah. Me too. Uh, <laughs> these are coins, and what I've got here is a collection of, uh, of the, all the basic uh, coins that are currently in circulation. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to play a game with these coins called okay. Choice and Chance. Okay. Simple enough. Sounds good. Uh, I am going to uh, make a little notation on my business card, and it has to do with your behavior in just a moment, okay? No, you're not watching. Nope. You're not I can't. Deacon. Mm -mm. Okay. I have written what I think is going to happen. Okay. Remember choice and chance. Mm -hmm. You must choose one coin. And I'll tell you right now, whichever coin you choose, and you'll point to it, that is the one we use. Simple enough? Mm-hmm. Point to a coin now. The half dollar. Mm-hmm. Now, do it feel fair? It felt like a real choice. I mean, I just dumped the coins out. I didn't arrange them in right. any particular pattern. You picked the half dollar. You chose the half dollar. I can't be more fair than that. Yes? Yes. Now, what's the name of the game? Choice and Chance. Choice and Chance. So I need to now, having handled the choice part, we need to go to the chance part. Okay. So here's, uh, here's where... Uh, Don't peek. Doesn't make much difference. You won't be able to read my <laughs> handwriting anyway. But, uh, all right, so we've got a... <clears throat> now, to do this by chance, we'll play a game of heads and tails. Okay. And that'll allow us to eliminate all but one of the coins. So do you, uh, uh, in terms of this game of elimination, do you, do you for heads or tails? Mm, heads. All right, so gather up the remaining coins and shake them up in your hands and uh, then you'll just drop them over here, and the ones that you, you wanted heads will keep heads? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the ones that say heads up will keep, and any tails will eliminate, and we'll keep doing this until we're down to one coin, and that way we choose a coin by chance. Okay. Sounds simple? Yep. It is simple. Let's see. The penny is tail down, and the, dime. the dime. So we, we managed to get rid of uh, two coins. Pick up the remaining three. Same thing. Just... And, uh, oh, we got rid of the nickel. Okay, yep. we're down to two coins, that giant uh, dollar and, and uh, well. both heads. Okay, this could take all night, but that's all right. <laughs> okay. I, I got nothing to do. Oh, the, the, oh. we're down to one. So the, so the quarter is, is now, the, so we have chosen a, 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 a half dollar by, by choice right. and a, a quarter by chance. Okay. Would you agree that every step of the way this has been fair and according to things out of my control. Yes. All right. Good, because you picked the half dollar, uh -huh. and I wrote what? Read it out loud. I'll choose the half dollar. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and, uh, and, and then uh, the, for the chance uh, result, we got the quarter. The quarter, and I right. wrote? I'll take a chance on the quarter. <laughs> wow. Well, you played okay. that perfectly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, geez. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> 